Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm doing a Fussy Cut Collection series. I do this once a month. And so um, normally I take a 6x6 paper pad and then a 12x12 cut apart sheet. But today I thought I would do something just a little bit different. Um, I saw this collection. This is a Simple Set collection by Simple Stories. And it's the Mama Llama collection. But... <laughs> But it's, it was like the perfect size. You just get six sheets of pattern paper. Um, they're double-sided. And so these are the six pieces of paper that you'll get in this collection. But it also comes with a sticker sheet. It's a, a 6 by 12 sticker sheet. So I thought this would be fun to play with. Now it, it does have a cut-apart sheet. And we'll be using that. But... Um, I thought, why not give this a go? Uh, Mother's Day's around the corner, and I thought the little llamas on here were so adorable. But um, these are your 12 by 12 sheets. These You can see the cute little llamas on here with the cacti. And then on the reverse side, there's a real pretty, um, like a banner style pattern paper. And then you get this striped pattern paper. And then on the reverse side is a brown polka dot pattern paper. And then this is the reverse side of the cut apart sheet. It's like a quilted effect. And then this is your cut apart sheet. Now this doesn't have too many things that you can cut out, but there's a lot of fun sentiments themed for Mother's Day. Um, so I thought this would be really fun. Mother's Day is next month. And so we can um, make some fun Mother's Day cards, but not just Mother's Day cards. I think this will be a versatile set to play with. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut all of the images out and then I, what I'm going to do too is take the pattern paper and just to make it easier for me I'm going to actually um, quarter it and create my own 6x6 um, paper sheet. It just makes it easy for me to cut and also to run through my die cut machine. But here's the sticker sheet it comes with. A few sentiments, a lot of cute little coordinating elements. You get a little banner and just just I thought it'd be fun to play with this let me know what you think guys if you want me to just stick with the cut apart sheet or if you like the little collection let me know I love to hear um, your opinion on this and here my screen goes um, you can see I fussy cut out what I could and I'm sorry about the screen I know I'm doing something wrong during editing but I can't figure out what I do wrong for it to do this <laughs> so bear with me um, it'll go back in just a minute but I did take vintage photo and run around all the edges of my fussy cut um, images here and then I here you go I did quarter my sheets which gave me four six by six um, pieces of pattern paper so we're all set and ready to go so we're gonna jump in with our first card I actually made 12 cards with this collection and I could have made a few more but I ran out of time so card number one I cut out a panel and I know I wanted to use this little um, cut apart that says no problema mama. But um, I know most of us have, well, of course, one mom, but the possibility of having two moms. And so I thought, well, let's make a card other than a Mother's Day card with this. So I'm actually going to take a strip of the, the uh, stripe pattern paper and I'm going to actually cover up the mama. So this card is just going to say no problema. Um, once I have my little strip cut, I'm just going to tape it right below the llama here. A lot of llama mamas going to go on during this video. So sorry about that. But um, I'm just going to use my tape runner and here adhere my pattern paper directly on that cut apart here. And I did round the corners in the very top part. I used the quarter inch um, of my quarter rounder. Now I'm going to pop this panel up with some foam tape. And then I'm just going to place that directly on the panel I cut out with the pattern paper. Now once we have that done, I'm going to grab one of the stickers. It's the smaller llama. And I use my anti-static powder tool to get rid of the tackiness behind it. And I'm going to just pop it up and place that on my panel. Just remove all the backing. 
lovely and then I thought you know what we're gonna add um one of the little sentiment strips I thought um the one that says what it me oh I love you lots I thought that would go perfect I just fishtailed the ends well I ended up going both ends on the fishtailing and I popped it up with some foam tape and I'm gonna place that across the bottom once I have that done, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to add some tape behind here. And then I'm going to adhere that to a standard A2 size card base. All my card bases for um, these 12 cards will be um, four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card bases. For little bells and whistles, I love going over polka dots with glossy accents. I think the effect that it gives is so neat. And then to bring in a little bit of the white, I grabbed some Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are, um, I believe it's simply white. And I'm going to add a few dots of white al um, along with those polka dots just to brighten it up a little bit. I went over my No Problema with Wink Estella, and that finishes off my first card. Very simple and easy, but I think it turned out cute. And you could give that to anybody. <laughs> okay, for card number two. I cut out a panel with the llama pattern paper and then um, to soften my background because it was a little busy I'm going to use the MFT stitched mini scallop rectangle die and we're just going to cut out that with um, vellum this is going to really soften my um, pattern paper back there so it's not so as busy <laughs> now next I'm going to use this sentiment here now this sentiment is so sweet it's for Mother's Day and it actually says, out of all the mamas in the world, I'm so glad you're mine. Now, I did, um, this was actually a strip off of another cut apart sheet. I just saved it and I added, I added it to the bottom portion of my sentiment here with my uh, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. Now, I thought it'd be fun to create a tag with this sentiment. This sentiment was actually from the 4x6 cut apart. And I just cut the sentiment part out. But I'm just going to cut off the corners. And then I did take my crocodile and I punched a hole and added a white eyelet. And then some white jute cord. I just doubled it up and tied a bow on top. So I have, I'm kind of created my own little tag here. <laughs> now, once we have that done, I'm going to grab my fussy cut llama here. And then after we get that done, I'm going to place, pop that up, place it on my vellum piece. Lovely. And then I'm going to flip it over and add some tape behind here. And then this is going to go directly on my pattern paper. And you can see how it kind of softens it a little bit. Now I'm going to add some foam tape behind this panel and add that to my card base. And then to make it a little bit more dainty these are actually um, tiny flowers they're called vanilla tiny flowers I got them at the Simon Says Stamp shop and they are so pretty um, they kind of almost look like snowflakes too <laughs> but I'm gonna take my glue and add a few dots of it around my card base here and then I'll add some of the flowers and then just to soften the flowers to make them less look like snowflakes I added some um, bubblegum pink Nouveau crystal drops to the center of them. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number three. I am going to take this cut apart sheet and I corner rounded the top right and the bottom left. Um, I used my half inch corner rounder and then I cut out a panel. This panel is actually four inches by five and a quarter and I just use white card stock for that. I'm going to pop up my sentiment with some foam tape and place that in the center of my panel. This was a super easy card, but I think it turned out very pretty. The sentiment actually says, so cute. It says, thanks, mom. I turned out awesome. <laughs> now, to embellish this, I thought the flower clusters in the sticker sheet would go perfectly. So I'm just going to, there's two of them, actually. So I'm going to add one to the top left and then one to the bottom right. And I'm just going to use some foam squares behind here. And then... Um, Actually, well, they're not really 
foam scores. I'm using some dimensional adhesive, but I'm going to add that to my sentiment piece. And I do use my anti-static powder tool to get rid of that tackiness. Now I'm going to place my panel on my card base. And then to give this a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to go in with some Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are Silver Moon Dust in the center of my flowers. And then that basically finishes off card number three. Super simple, but I think it turned out very pretty. Now moving along to card number four, I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and some Distress Oxide ink. This is Twisted Citron. I'm just going over the bottom portion of this cardstock. I wanted to create a grassy hill, and so um, once I have that done, I'm also going to take a panel. Now this panel is three inches by four and a quarter, and just I'm going to go over the very top portion, creating a blue sky background with some some more Distress Oxide. It's actually broken china. Now to dull it down a little bit. Well, this is a die here. This is from Elizabeth Crafts. It's called. It's from the Adventure Edges set, and it creates a real fun hillside border. Any kind of hillside border die would work. But um, I did go around my edges with Vintage Photo to dull it down. <laughs> Got to squeeze that in there. But I cut out my hillside, and I'm going to pop that up and place that on the bottom portion of my panel. I wanted to use the cactus. The cacti stickers for this so I want to create kind of like a little scene. So I'm going to place my hillside and then now I'm going to take all the cactus images in the sticker sheet. This one's going to go directly on my panel and then there's a cacti that has the sentiment that says stuck on you. I'm going to actually pop that up with some foam tape and place that on there and then I did add the itty bitty cactus right behind it. I threw in a few of the little hearts. Some of them I popped up with dimensional adhesive and I think that looks really fun. I'm going to add some foam tape behind this panel and then just to add a little something on my card base I cut out a strip of this pattern paper and I'm going to just use my tape runner and adhere that to my card base. Now as I got that done, um, I thought, well, I'm going to add one more strip of pattern paper. <laughs> and so I added a pale blue pattern paper here, cut out a smaller strip. And then I kept looking at it going, I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add a small, thin pink one. <laughs> so all in all, if you probably could cut out a two inch strip of the pattern paper and, and put it on your card base, it'd probably give the same effect. <laughs> okay, I trimmed it down and now I'm going to add my little centerpiece here and I did pop that up with foam tape. Now for bells and whistles, I am going to add one more heart to the bottom left. I thought that would just finish it off. I'm going to add some foam tape with it. But bells and whistles, I'm going to add some sparkling clear sequins. These are from Pretty Pink Posh. And they're different sizes, which is so nice. I just added a few here and there. And that finishes off that card. Now, for card number five, I'm going to be cutting out a panel that's three and a half inches by four and three quarters using the brown polka dot pattern paper. And then I'm going to, I did cut out a white scallop edge. I'm attaching it to a piece of the stripe pattern paper here. And then that's going to go on the bottom. So I'm just going to trim it, uh, trim it down a little bit. Okay. Next, I'm going to take. I have some twine. I have some of the white jute cord. I doubled it up, and I'm going to wrap it around. And then I'm going to tie a bow to the the left here, or actually, it's to the right. <laughs> and then I wanted to use those four square stickers. But I did pop them up with foam squares and then I matted them on a piece of white cardstock just to make them stand out against that brown background. So I'm just going to do that to all four of them. Now once I have that done, I'm going to add some foam tape behind 
my little ribbon piece here. Not really, well, my twine piece, I guess. <laughs> Place that in the bottom. And then just using my tape runner, I'm going to adhere all four of my squares to my panel. Just making sure I get them straight. Okay, lovely. Now, of course, we got to flip it over and we're going to pop it up because that's just what I do. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a few um, bits of glossy accents to each one of those square stickers. And then I did take my white gel pen and do a little bit of faux stitching on the pink um, paper right above the scallop edge there. But that finishes off that card. Now for card number six, I really thought the sentiment was so cute. It says, mom turned upside down spells. And then you have the mom, if you flip it over, it would say wow. So I cut out a piece of the banner pattern paper and I attached the sentiment to the bottom. Now I'm taking a small circle die. I'm going to cut out a circle in the center here of that pattern paper. And then I took a size larger circle and cut out just a piece of white cardstock. I took two pieces of dimensional adhesive and stacked them together on top of that white circle there. Now what I'm going to do next is um, pop my panel up with foam tape. Now I, I left it open where that circle was because I wanted this circle here to be able to move around. I'm going to just place my panel on my card base with that doubled up circle with dimensional adhesive um, right in the center. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick my mom on it. Now this is going to create a real fun spinner. It actually spins really easy. Um, great way. That way mom could be wow. And it kind of like an interactive card. I thought it would be <laughs> cute. I mean, I could spin it for a while. I mean, <laughs> but I thought it needed just a touch more. So I cut out some banners with the striped pattern paper and then um, I'm going to attach three to the bottom and then three to the top. But I thought this would be um, just a fun interactive card. And I think um, if you want anything to spin on your cards, um, try the, the circle with the dimensional adhesive. It works really well, but it spins so easy. I added the sticker that says best mama ever on the very bottom and then that completes that card. Now for card number seven, I'm taking another piece of the banner pattern paper and then I also cut out a thin frame with white cardstock, circle frame with white cardstock. I wanted to use this piece that I cut, um, fussy cut out. I'm just going to use my glue and attach the llama to the very bottom portion of my frame. And the flowers kind of overlapped perfectly with this. I thought that looked so neat. So I'm just going to trim off the bottom portion here. And then once I got that done, I was planning on sticking that on the banner panel, but uh, banner panel, but it was um, just too busy for me. So I added a piece of vellum behind my circle frame. Now I'm just adding a few dimensional adhesives behind my llama to pop it up a little bit. And then I placed it on my, my panel there. For this card, I'm using the sticker that says Happy Mother's Day. And I'm just going to add some foam tape behind that. The very bottom here. Remove the tackiness. And then... Once we have that done... We're going to, of course, add some dimensional adhesive behind this panel. I just like dimension on my cards. Guys, if you don't like dimension on your cards, you could completely skip this step. I think the, the layout would be the same. But I took a strip of the polka dot pattern paper. I'm going to adhere it to the left of my card base. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my panel. Lovely. For bells and whistles, I'm going to go in with some Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are Silver Moon Dust. Right in the center of the flowers, and then that completes that card. 
for card number 10. Oh no, card number eight. I'm getting way ahead of myself. This is um, another uh, scalloped border die. I just cut out one of the cut aparts with, so it has a scalloped edge. And then just to make it pop a little bit more, I cut out a small rectangle frame with white cardstock. I just used two rectangle dies to do this. Okay, once I have it centered, I'm going to pop this up. And I did add, I doubled up on my uh, white jute cord and added a bow on the very top portion. I kind of um, placed it on my background panel that had the llamas. And then I am going to add some little hearts. So there are three in a row. Once we have those all done, I'm going to grab the sentiment sticker that says, You are awesome. The sentiment on the, the cut apart says, I got it from my mama, <laughs> which is so cute. Now I'm just using my tape runner and we're going to adhere that to my card base. And then for finishing touches, I do go over the little hearts with some glossy accents just to make them stand out a little bit more. And that finishes off card number eight. Now for card number nine, I want to use this cut apart here. I did fussy cut the stripe that was behind it or around it. <laughs> I'm going to add a little background using some Distress Oxide ink. That's Broken China there. And then I'm taking this llama sticker. I just added some foam tape behind that and I'm going to place that on my little panel. And then there's a little thought bubble in there that says no problem. I thought I'm going to add that right next to my llama up there. Okay, now to make this background stand out a little bit more, I'm going in with some Twisted Citron directly on my card base. So it has a little bit of a shading right behind this panel. I popped it up, placed it on my card base, and then I added a few little bits of glossy accents. And then that finishes off that card. I think it was glossy accents. <laughs> now, for, now we're on card number 10. Okay. Um, this is actually a frame that was um, left over from one of my panels that I had cut out. So it will cover my entire card front. I'm placing a piece of white cardstock behind it. So it's got half of an opening. And then I wanted to take this banner sticker and go across that opening with that. I think it fit perfectly. Now once I have that done, I knew I wanted for this card I want to use the cutouts that say mom. Um, but I think I'm going to flip this panel over and pop it up with some foam tape. Once I have that done I placed it on my card base and then I'm ready to add my mom. Um, right inside that window. We'll add the O first, that way I can get it centered, and then we'll add the moms. Now to finish off the sentiment, there's a little sticker that says, It's Your Day. I'm going to add that to the bottom right. And then finishing touches, the circles on the banner, I did add glossy accents to. It kind of may turn them into little bubbles. <laughs> But it's a clean and simple Mother's Day card. I thought that would be real fun. So that finishes off that card. Now again, I made 12 cards with this collection. So this is card number 11. I cut out a panel using the quilted like pattern paper. That's going to go directly on my card base. And then I cut out this strip of um, the stripe pattern paper. Now technically you're supposed to flip it around because it's supposed to be like a blanket. But I thought if I flipped it upside down, it would look like little twigs or brush or bushes. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on my panel basically upside down. But I did pop it up with some foam tape. And then now I'm going to take this llama that I had fussy cut out. And then we're going to add that to my card base. And then for this card, I wanted to add a little bit more. So... Well, this is the sentiment for this one. It says, save the drama for the mama. 
I have four sisters, so we always save the drama for the mama. <laughs> okay. I just popping that up with some foam tape and we're going to place that right across the llama. Now the background for me was a uh, real busy, so to tone it down, I thought well, we'll add some hearts to this card. So this was the cut apart, and I'm just grabbing one of my heart dies from my stash. I'm going to cut out um, an orangish yellow heart, and I did pop it up and placed it on my background. And then this was the leftover piece of one of the cut aparts. I'm going to take a smaller heart die and cut out a smaller heart, and I just placed it right next to the bigger heart. For bells and whistles for this card, I'm going to go in with some Nouveau Glitter Drops. These are This is White Blizzard. It's a real pretty iridescent glitter. And I went around the dots on the hearts and then the little blanket on the llama. And I did go, there's a string of dots on that um, stripe pattern paper on the bottom. I added some glitter to those too. But that finishes off that card. For card number 12. If you stuck around, <laughs> thank you for sticking around. Okay, I took this p pattern paper here, and this is actually the lengthwise is five and a half, so it's going to go top to bottom on my card base, but it's actually going to um, leave me a little bit of a white border to the left and right. So I cut this out, taped it down. I'm going to trim off the excess, and then I did cut out a piece of the brown polka dot pattern paper to fit right on the inside. Um, to make it stand out a little more, I cut out two real thin strips of white cardstock, and I'm going to add those to the left and right side of my polka dot pattern paper using my glue here. And it, it just, the white just sometimes makes it stand out, and I really like that. Okay. Now I know I wanted to use the llama sticker, so I'm going to add some foam tape for it right behind him. Once we have that done, I'm going to take some more of my white jute cord here and I'm going to wrap it around the center four times and then I'm going to um, tie a bow to the left here. I'm just going to trim off the end and tie a bow to almost a little bit towards the bottom. I just want to evenly space my my twine there. Trim off my tails of my bow and then I'll go ahead and add my llama. Well I guess I, I popped this up. A lot of popping up going on in these 12 cards. <laughs> okay there's my llama and then after he's done I thought well we need a sentiment. So I was I thought the mama llama hair sticker was too big so I thought I'm gonna put that on the inside. But there's a Sentiment that says I got it from my mama. I'm going to just add that to my card base and then I'm going to go over all those circles on that polka dot pattern paper with my glossy accents along with the the little llama's cheek and that finishes off card number 12. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Here's a look at all, um, well actually I want to show you what's left over. So this is everything that's left over. I have the pattern paper, I have just a few stickers, um, a few of the cut aparts I didn't use, but there was um, if I had more time I could probably make two or three cards more. But this is everything. And then and now we can take a look. Um, I just put them in a Ziploc baggie to keep everything nice and tidy. But here's a quick look at all 12 cards that I made today. Um, I hope this gives you an idea. I mean, for $6, you can make quite a few cards. So, I'll, again, I'll leave links below in the description area where you can check this. It's a simple set, and I, I don't think I've ever seen these before, but it was perfect for this series. And again, let me know what you think. Um, if you'd rather have the 6x6 paper pad and the 12x12 cut apart sheet, or if you guys like the, the simple sets, I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, I hope this gives you some versatility too. It's just not a mom's day. I just didn't want to make 12 Mother's Day cards. <laughs> Although that'd be kind of fun to give to mom, you know, 12 days before Mother's Day. But thanks so much for stopping by guys. I wish you a fantastic day. 
Um, we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.